It's Miss Steyer and I'm back today with Brad. Hello. And I am super excited. I was really excited yesterday to show you our Luna Moth and I have another surprise for you today. I can't wait till the end. I have to show you now. So yesterday we saw our Luna Moth and today, guess what happened? Well, let me see if I can get you in here. Two of our butterflies came out. So let me see if I can get close enough. You can see this little guy. Do you see him? Look at his antenna. It is long and skinny, which is very different than our Luna Moth, which I will show you again in a minute. There's another butterfly. Oh my goodness, another butterfly around here somewhere, but I want you to take a close look at this one so you can see what's different about this guy than the Luna Moth. So remember we learned their antennas are long and skinny. We learned when they are at rest, their wings are together. And how are this butterfly's wings? That's right, they are together. His body is skinny and long. Not like the Luna butterfly that has a fat, fluffy body. You can see the chrysalis that he came out of right next to him. He's sort of on top of one of the chrysalises that has not opened yet. You can see the chrysalis that he came out of. Okay, so let's take another look at the Luna moth. Let's, oh, here's the other butterfly that came out. They are not flying around right now, so you cannot see their open, colorful wings because they're, they just came out of their chrysalises this morning. So they their wings are still drying, but over the next couple days, they'll start to fly around and we'll be able to see them. The other thing I wanted to show you is I put some things down here. What do you think I put an orange down there and the sponge? That's right, those butterflies need something to eat. So that's pink sponge has sugar water in it. So they will drink that. They will use their proboscis. They will also sit on that orange and use their proboscis. Oh look, he's showing you his beautiful wings. Oh, aren't they colorful and beautiful? Oh, and you can see real, that one's antennas. Now he's going to rest, so he put his wings back together. Okay, let's take a look again at our Luna Moth. We will see our butterflies again tomorrow. Oh, isn't that nice that he's showing you his wings? Okay, say bye to the butterflies. Okay, and let's take a look at our Luna Moth. Do you remember we looked at his furry, fat belly? There it is. He's at the top of his net today, so he's a little trickier to see, but let's see if we can take a look. Um, can you see him? There he is, see his antenna? The butterflies, can you sip that, Brad? The butterflies' antennas were long and skinny, but do you see his fluffy, feathery antenna? And look, his, he is resting with his wings apart. Okay, so that was super exciting. I was so excited that our butterflies came out, two of them, and then we have three more to wait to see if they come out tomorrow. And it was super exciting to see our Luna Moth. I'm so excited that they came out at the same time so you could see the difference between them. That is super exciting. And today, we're gonna learn just a little bit more about butterflies and their eyes. Tomorrow, we will learn about their proboscis, and the next day, we'll learn about the colors on their wings. But today, let's learn a little bit more about the butterflies and their eyes. Unlike humans, a butterfly sees in all directions at once. What does a butterfly see? It sees up to 17,000 images that form a mosaic view of the world around it. Butterflies have two compound eyes made up of many smaller eyes that each have their own light-sensitive lens. 
These eyes bulge out, giving the butterfly a wide range of sight. Compound eyes can't change focus. They do not see much detail or things that are far away. Instead, they see quick movements and things that are nearby. The butterfly's brain combines these, combines these thousands of images it sees into one single image. Butterfly eyes can also see ultraviolet light. This helps them find food as some flowers have markings that can only be seen in ultraviolet light. That is pretty cool. So a butterfly's eye looks very different than ours. That's a picture of his eye from far away, but way up close, that's the picture of a butterfly eye. See all those little teeny circles? They are all the different lenses of the butterfly eye. We only have one, but they can see up to 17,000 images at once. So if I wanna look over here, my eye can look over here or over here. They can't do that, but they don't have to. They have all these lenses all over their eyes, taking in all of the images around them. It's pretty cool, huh? And I was so excited to show you the butterflies and the moth again today. And come back tomorrow, we'll learn about the proboscis and we will see if any more of our butterflies came out and maybe they'll even be flying around. So I hope you are doing really well at home, having fun, staying safe and healthy inside of your house. And I hope you come back tomorrow because I miss you so much. Bye.